Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to Taylor Toned. You've joined me outdoors for another 25 minute bar workout. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time I upload. Okay, who's ready for the shake and the burn? Let's get straight into this workout. Let's start by aligning the body. You're gonna bring your feet directly underneath your hips. You're gonna point those toes forwards, bring your hands into a prayer and roll the shoulder blades back and down. Then lift the heels up and away from the floor. Center the body, pull the abdominals in. You're gonna lower those heels down. Start to go into a knee lift. Left leg first. Up, go lift. Lift, take it as soft and a bend through the knee, point the toe, bring that toe forward. Now press the palms together, find some good energy through the body. We go lift, lift. And you're gonna reach both the hands up towards the sky. Now a little bit of a brain teaser early on in class. You're gonna bring same elbow as leg down. Down, I know it's tough for the brain, but you've got it. We go pull, pull, pull. So wake up the upper body, the lower body, you've got five. Four more, three, two, one. Bring the feet wide and the hips. You're gonna punch across the chest. So press and press. So you're just gonna point that toe and punch across the chest. Now I know it's a bar class. I know, it's ballet inspired. But we're just getting all of our hang out today. Punch and press. So you've got seven and six. You've got five more here. Four, three, two, one. Make sure you've got enough room to walk out. You're gonna step yourself to the edge of the mat. No, fall over then. I want you to bring your chin to your chest. You're gonna roll through the spine, hold it, find a quick hamstring stretch, and then I want you to walk all the way in towards the plank position. Hands onto the shoulders, legs are extended backwards. Now squeeze your inner thighs together for dear life. Zip through the waistline. If you wanna modify this, drop the knees down towards the floor and rock onto the fleshy part of your knees on towards those thighs. If you want that full version, you are up here with me. Inhale, exhale. Then you're gonna rotate your hips under. Squeeze that belly button up. Inhale, exhale. Point to lower your left forearm to the floor. You're gonna lower your right forearm to the floor and create number 11 with your arms. Now keep squeezing the waistline in. You're gonna tap your left knee for two. Tap, tap, lift. Go down, down, lift. Tap, tap, then up. Inhale and exhale. Tapping those knees alternately down towards the floor. Tap, tap, then lift. You've got four, then up. If you're in the modification, just hold still and slowly on the knees. Two, lift. Last one, now keep the knees lifted. Squeeze the belly button in. We're gonna go rock forward, rock back, tap, lift and tap again, tap and lift. So we go forward, back, go tap, lift, go tap and lift. You've got it, forward, back, tap, lift, tap, lift. You've got two more of those, keep going. If that lumbar spine is aching, hurting, try tipping the hips under, back. We go tap, then lift again, tap and lift. Now stay with me, inhale. Exhale, don't hold the breath. You're gonna go ahead. Left knee taps, right knee taps. Left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee. Now let's start to get that heart rate up. We go tap, tap, tap. If you're burning and shaking, it is working. Commit to it today. You've got just eight more knee taps, seven and six. Child pose in five, in four. Child pose in three, two, one. Woo. Toes together, open through the knees. Push backwards, nice deep breath in. And nice deep breath out. So you're gonna roll yourself up. You're gonna give yourself a little shoulder roll around. I want you to sweep the feet round in front of yourself here. So, modified version, sit bones stay on the floor. You're gonna bring your fingertips and bring them towards your heels right now. Who's ready for an arm burn? I am. You're gonna then advance them, lift the hips off the floor. Modification, keep those hips down. You're gonna take a bend for two, then bend it up and lift. So you're going down, down, then lift, lift. So we go bend and bend. We take a little lift and lift. Miniature, miniature bends and then push all the way up to the top of your action. Now we'll start to bend in just a second, don't worry. Woo. 
Oh, it's been an hour for me though. We go for a bend and bend, go lift and lift three more, go down. For two, we take a lift and lift, go down and down, we take a lift and lift. Now last one, you're gonna hold the bend, take little tiny miniature squeezes, down and down. Go tiny presses, seven and six, change in five, in four, Ooh, three, two, now hold. Now you're gonna push the hips forwards and then you're gonna push the hips backwards. Oh my gosh, that burns. You're gonna push the hips forwards, keep a bend through the elbows and then glide the hips backwards. You're gonna push it forwards and then you're gonna push them back. Now hold it there, keep the bend. Inhale, exhale, six seconds of stillness. Bend the elbows, five and four, straighten the arms in three, in two, in one, straighten the arms. We're not done, sorry. You're gonna go ahead and drive your hips up to the ceiling. Now come out of the collarbone. Don't sink in towards the shoulders, open the heart up. Now bring your eye line forwards on the deck, and a little tiny hip thrust up and up and up. So I want you to squeeze your glutes together, squeeze your butt together as tight as you can. Your glutes are those muscles in your bum. You can squeeze your muscles in your bum together and lift the hips up. We go for a thrust and thrust. You've got this. You just have eight more, seven and six. You've got five, four more thrusts, three, two, one. Well done. Whew. Give those wrists a quick roll off. You're gonna bring your feet round behind yourself and come into a kneeling position here. So the knees come underneath your hips. You're gonna reach the hands towards the side, the arms on top of your head. Go, cross, cross, drop. Cross, cross, extend. Go cross, cross, then extend. So crossing those hands over the top of your head. So this is a beautiful location today. I was actually hoping on filming the other way because there's another one of these black things on the other side but the lighting it was just all wrong so i ended up going this way and there is a road right there to my left to your right so if you hear a swish go by you know what it is it's a car and down go cross cross drop you've got four and lower go three drop go two and drop last one now you're going to keep the hands out towards the side you're going to bend left arm right arm left arm right arm so get the fingertips as long as you physically can for me right now extend through those arms lengthen lengthen so this is your arm section it is going to be an intense three and a half four minutes of burning but you've got this see that start watching the corner of the screen you just got to the end of that stopwatch and then your arms go over and done we go reach and reach go reach extend through the fingertips you've got seven and six see you've got five more hold in four more you've got three stillness in two in one back to a cross cross drop inhale exhale i know your shoulders are really starting to burn right now but you've got it we can do we're in it together it's about 7 30 in the morning right now for me so this is like hello wake up gabrielle <laughs> we go cross cross drop also if you've not checked out my instagram it is at taylor toned started doing stories on her every day like behind the scenes kind of stuff drop we go cross cross and drop you have four more than to hold three more than we've got stillness i know you can too and drop last one you're gonna hold here the palms rotate back then forwards favorite move because do you know what it burns back and forwards go rotate back so you're rotating from the shoulder girdle you're rotating cuff muscles they're called forwards back it's really starting to burn right now you've got five and back you're like gabby i know shut up i know it's burning because i'm doing it too you've got two and forwards last one rotate the palms back little press it back and back and back now let's up that tempo go push press 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 so we go inhale exhale do not hold the breath now come up and away from those knees squeeze your abdominals in lengthen the crown of the head up towards the sky you've got seven and six i'm really sorry we're not done in five in four bring those palms forwards in three in two in one palm forward fingertips up in in out so i just showed you my favorite exercise for shoulders deltoid muscles we're now going to do my favorite exercise for your anterior deltoids of your biceps 
She's probably thinking biceps, Gabby. I don't want a big bicep. Trust me, it's gonna work. You're gonna sculpt that off body. Go in and out. You have two, whew, one. Now touch the elbows together like this. Little tiny lifts and lift. Go lift, now squeeze the abs in. Push those fingertips towards the sky, you've got it, lift. So the elbows come up to the nose, up to the nose, go lift. Oh, Woo. you have a final. 10 more, nine, you've got eight more here. Seven, we are done in six, into the next section of your class, through section, in four, in three, two, one. That nearly actually got me to tears. Okay, you're gonna bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Give those elbows, the shoulders a quick roll out here. I know you heard it in the last set. Then you're gonna keep your right knee on the floor. The right knee comes into the center line of the body. Fire hydrant with the left leg. Go up. So we're gonna go back in towards that tempo. Go lift and lift. Take it down and down. Now, as you do this, I want you to squeeze the abdominals in here. You're going to make sure your eye line is between the fingertips and you're going to make your, sure your shoulders are over the top of your wrists. Now don't sink in towards that supporting hip. I know, it's so easy. There's a massive temptation there to sink into the supporting hip, especially as your muscles start to get fatigued. But don't do it. We go down and down. Imagine the supporting side of your body is up against. What should we have today? A brick wall. Imagine it's up against a brick wall. Cannot move it anywhere, it's in a straight line. We go up and up, we take it down and down. Go lift and lift, inhale, exhale. Who's ready for that up tempo? Go down and down, we go lift, lower. Make it controlled, don't fling it around. Everything in my class is done with precision. We go lift and squeeze in, go up, down. Five, four, whoo, three, you have two. Now last one, you're gonna hold the leg out to the side and little miniature lift, lift, lift. So I used to teach in a bar studio and I always remember about this move, this little tiny pull struggle towards the side. Sometimes you get verbal diarrhea, should we say, when you're teaching and anything can literally come out of your mouth. And this girl I used to work with, she was doing this move and she was like, imagine you're a dog weeing up the side of a tree. You're cocking your leg, you're taking away, that's what you're doing right now. Because we're getting into those abductor muscles. They must have a strong abductor in his left flexor muscles. You've got six and five. You've got four. Well, we're down in three, we're not done in two, in one. We've got to go again. We've got to fatigue the muscle. Lift and lower. Four more. You're going to feel this tomorrow. Three and drop, you've got two, and lower. Now last one, hold to the side, offer your arm to let go down to the floor, open this arm out, and then you're gonna cross over, kick it out. Cross it over, kick out to the side. Cross for two, kick for two. Go cross for two, we go open to the side. Now keep breathing in and out, we've got this. If the side of your butt is aching, you are doing it right. As you commit to the burn. The more you burn and shake, the better results you're gonna get. Now don't worry, if you can't straighten that leg all the way to the side, just go as long as you can. It's just a tight hamstring. I've got them this morning. We go open, extend. So really try and lengthen behind the knee, get into the outside of the butt. Woo, in, in. Extend away. You've got two more to the hold. Extend away. One more. Now try to hold the leg to the side. Straighten the knee. Flex the foot. Little lift. I know. Lift. You've got eight, seven, six. You've got five, four, three, two, one. You're going to come straight onto your back. Bridge. Blow yourself down. Hands around the hips, lift the hips up. Go down, down, then lift. Go drop, drop, then up. Go down, down, lift. Now dig the heels in, take the toes off. This is your advancement. Every time you lift the hips up, you've got a 90 degree angle from the lower leg up to the, towards the top of the leg. And lift, 
go down, down, up. So you can either do this exercise with your heels like this, nice and tight in towards your sit bones, or you can do it with the heels further away. The difference is, heels go further away just means you're working more on the hamstrings, the back of the legs. With the heels nice and close means you're working on, on your gluteus maximus. <laughs> Couldn't get my words out then. Reach the hands up towards the ceiling or predominantly focused on that. Go down, down, up. You've got three and lift. Go two and lift. Last one, now you're gonna hold it there. Who's ready for a cardio burst? We go. Down, up, down, up, down, up. I feel like you're saying that. Who's ready? <laughs> Who's ready for this? <laughs> Everyone at home is like, nobody, Gabby. Nobody's ready for it. Don't pause for any more pain and burn. We go. Down, up, down, up. Six, five, four. You're gonna hold in three, two, one, lift. Option here, take that balletic inspiration, that bar inspiration, and get your heels away from the floor. Now squeeze the butt together, shoulders are spread across your mat, and the lumbar spine is off the floor, the glutes are off. Now add a little tiny pulse up and up. If your glute and your butt wasn't hurting in that first round of hydrant, fire hydrant, it should be on fire right now. Little miniature squeeze. If it's not, squeeze the butt together tighter. Go lift and lift. You've got seven, six, other side, a fire hydrant coming up in four, in three, in two, one. Well done. Draw the knees into the chest, rock backwards, rock it up forwards. Now extend the legs in front of yourself. Bar's about stretching as well. So reach the hands up towards the ceiling. Quick stretch. Inhale here. Exhale. Keep a flat back and try to reach your hands towards your toes. You should feel the stretch down the back of the legs into the glutes. Drop the hands towards the floor. Allow the nose to come towards your calves. And inhale. Exhale. Rolling up. You're going to sleep both the feet round towards the back. Let's go. Other side. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. Leg is going to go out for two. We take it in and in. So the sun has now disappeared. It's gone. Which means it's going to be a very tough video to edit because the light is all over the show. So I apologise if at any point you think, where has Gabby gone? It's pitch black. We go lift and lift. We take it down and down. Now squeeze the abdominals in. Again, you want to find a straight line from the supporting side of the body. We go lift and lift. We take it down and down. So now you're going to burn out the other side of that glute. That supporting side, it will have burned as well on the first round. That is completely normal. We take it down and down. So bar as well is also great for building bone density. In fact, any kind of workout that you do, running, jogging, going to the gym, is great for building bone density, which is good for osteoarthritis, making your bones, bones stronger as you get older. The only thing that's not really good for that is swimming, because it doesn't involve any weight bearing. Down and down, we take it, lift and lift. We take it down and down. Now let's up the tempo, go down go lift and drop. We go up and down. Lift. Keeping that leg in a 90 degree angle, keeping your abs engaged. This one is great as well for the waistline, for those obliques, which are the muscles that run down the side of your waist. Drop. Lower. We're going to go back in towards that dog we move. Can you say that on YouTube? In just three and down. You've got two and drop. Last one. Now lift. Hold. Take a little miniature raise up. 90 degree angle, put something heavy on the side of your thigh and squeeze it up to the sky. You've got four, that rhymes. Three, two, one, whoo, lift. There is actually people around. There's actually fish in the mound and I'm just screaming at the top of my voice. We are like a dog. <laughs> the life of Gabrielle, lift down, up, you've got three, lift, you've got two, lift, now last one, you're going to hold the leg to the side, off of the arm, comes down, and then you're going to go ahead, we go invert down, exhale, open, inhale, invert, Woo. exhale, open, again, don't worry, if you need to keep a bend through the knee, go ahead, keep a bend like that, everybody's body is built completely differently, I get that, mine for sure is my hips 
They're not really made for maneuvering around. They're not made for being a dancer, but I just force them to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm like, you will do this to me today, hips and knees, even though you're sore. No, I'm joking. I don't force them badly. We're just making them stronger. Squeeze it down. Open up to the side. Squeeze it down. I'm so ready for this seat section to be over. It has been a burner today, trust me. It's been a big burner. I did a workout as well yesterday, Taylor Tone YouTube. So my bum is feeling it. <sighs> Invert down, you've got it. Stay with me, I know, I know. You're burning. I'm just chatting to you to help it, to help make time go by. Three more here. Exhale, open. Two more, invert that knee down. Exhale, open, you've got this. Invert down. Now go ahead, you're gonna hold, extend through the leg, flex the foot, a little tiny, lift, lift, lift. Guess what? We've made it all the way to the end. You have just 10, nine more raises, eight, seven, six, you've got two minutes of abs coming up, in four, in three, two, one. Some smile through the pain. You're gonna lower yourself down towards the floor. You're gonna bring your hands around the side of your hips, and then I want you to squeeze your navel towards the floor. Close the ribs together, and then you're gonna lift one leg into a tabletop position. I want you to then take that other leg, join it, and then squeeze your inner thighs together. Now just stay here for me. Double check. If you've got a mirror, that would be so great. But you want to make sure your knees are over the top of your hips. Just judge it now. Are they there? Can you see your toes? If you come up too high, dip them lower. Bring the hands around the side of your hip. Inhale. Exhale. Now open, turn out through the legs. So you're going to lower. Right toe down for two. Lift it back up. Left toe, go tap and tap. Go lift, lift. We take it down and down. We lift it up and up. Probably right now, there's a lot of people feeling this in their lumbar spine. Or maybe you've got a large gap in your lumbar spine. Get rid of it. If you can feel it, imprint your lumbar spine in towards your mat, onto the carpet, wherever you are. Imprint it down. Engage the abdominals. This is an ab exercise. You should feel those abdominals. You've also got your hip flexors, your iliopsoas switched on, which is these muscles here in your hips. So they should be working as well. We go down and down. We take it, lift and lift. Two more. If it doesn't feel good in the hip flexors though, feel free to come into a parallel position. Go back into that starting position. Now lift, hold. Keep the legs open. You're going to bring your hands around underneath your thighs. Now bring your chin to your chest. Imagine you're gripping an apple and lift the head and neck shoulders off the floor. The legs are going to turn in. You're going to reach both those hands away. You're going to take a little miniature lift, lift. Reaching those fingertips forward, killing the head, neck, shoulders, off the floor, pulled out. You've just got a final seven, six more presses, five, four, three, two, one. That was bad PJ and skills from real my pre preview playlist. You're going to rock the knees side to side, turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Inhale. I'm going to draw the knees in towards the chest. You're going to rock it back, rock it all the way up forward. Bringing both the feet round towards the back. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips, cat and cow. Inhale, scoop. Exhale, pressing the chest down towards the floor, lifting the eye line up. Inhale, scooping the abdominals up. Exhale, press the chest down, lift the eye line up. Back to a neutral spine. The left foot is going to come forward, just like this. And you're going to take two 90 degree angles. So I was just talking about your hip flexors. We're going to stretch the hip flexors. Tip the hips under. So rotate your hip bones in. Posterior pelvic tilt, tilt under. And then push forward. You should get a stretch down the front of that hip. Taking it back to a 90 degree angle, bring the hands around that front foot, tuck the back toe under, lift the knee away from the floor. Hands come to the inside of the foot. You're going to twist turn towards me. So rotate towards the screen, try and keep this heel on the floor. The modification, you can lift the heel slightly, but try to aim to get it down. 
You're aiming for this position, so you should find an inner thigh stretch. Don't worry if you can't get there, just come higher or lift that heel slightly away from the floor, but aim to get it down. Inhale the breath in. Exhale, you're going to track the hips all the way over carefully, really carefully and slowly. Trying to get this heel down towards the floor, flexing through that other foot. And then I want you to roll all the way round. So you're going to go other side of that hip flexor stretch. Drop both the knees down towards the floor. Two 90 degree angles. Tucking the pelvis under. Squeeze the butt together. Rotate the hip bones under. And then push forwards in towards that stretch. Inhale. Exhale. And then from here, bring the hands to the inside of this right foot. Sweep the leg round towards the back and take a down dog. Tuck the toes under, drive the heels to the floor, lift the hips nice and high. Find yourself a V position with the body and drive the heels down. And then take a second here of your own time to gently pedal the heels down, left and right, left and right. I always hate it when people say that to me in class. Take your own time. No, I would have fallen somebody. <laughs> drive the heels down towards the floor. And then from here, walking your hands in towards the feet. Favourite stretch of mine. You can bring the hands behind the head. So you can either stay here if you're up here. Fabulous. Just make sure you get a stretch behind the back of the legs. If you want to take a deeper stretch, you're going to interlace the fingertips behind the back. Extend through the elbows for a pectoral, a shoulder, a deltoid stretch. And then from here, allow the fingertips to just rock over the top of the head. You're probably looking at this like, Gabby, I can never do that in a million years. Just listen to your own body if you can get here. Fabulous. Enjoy it. If you can't, it's something to work towards. Take the modified options I just spoke about. Dropping those hands safely down towards the floor. Let the crown of the head come down. Have a play around with the weight. So rock the weight back. Rock the weight forwards. Take a soften a bend through the knees. And roll sequentially up through the spine. All the way up, rolling through the shoulders. Head's the last thing to come up. You're gonna center the body. Bring your feet underneath your hips. Bring your hands to a prayer. Roll the shoulders down. You're gonna close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out, exhale. And well done in your 30 minutes bar class with me. Hope you loved that one. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Drop me any feedback, comments down below. I would love to hear them. And I'll see you again in a couple of days for another workout, maybe in a new location. Maybe I really like this one. I do like this one, it's a gorgeous view. I will see you again next time. Bye.